Hello students, welcome to Dr. Academy. You work with Vishnath Dr. and English educator. Today I am going to discuss with you five important questions from the literary piece The Little Match Girl written by Hans Christian Andersen. And this chapter The Little Match Girl is very very important for you students who are appearing for 2020 ICSC exam. So please prepare this literary piece very well. It is highly probable chapter for 2020. I am telling you, keep it in mind. Okay, so now let's start. Five important questions from the little match girl. The first question. You may be asked to write about the setting of this short story, the little match girl. What things you should mention in your answer that I am going to tell you. First thing you should write that the short story, the little match girl is set in the last evening of the old year that was new year's eve so everyone was celebrating or was ready to um, welcome the new year next you should write that uh, snow was falling heavily and it was bitterly cold outside darkness prevailed all where so in this first paragraph write or mention these four things i am repeating for you students you can note the, note it down Number one point is that New Year's Eve. Second point is uh, uh, falling of heavy snow. Third point is uh, bitterly cold. And the next point is darkness. Okay. Then make a separate paragraph. There you should write the significance or the impl impl implication of the setting of the story. What you should write? You should write that it was New Year's Eve. So it was an evening of celebration everyone was celebrating with pomp and grandeur okay but the the words coldness and darkness these two words creates these two words actually create a gloomy or a sad atmosphere therefore you can understand that the gloomy atmosphere forecasts that something bad or something evil or something sad is going to happen in this story okay my student so in the last paragraph you should mention your personal comment okay the second important question is wh why the little girl was bareheaded and barefoot okay or you may be asked that how had the little girl lost her slippers okay so how would you write the answer at first you mention that the little girl belonged to the underclass of the society okay or he uh, she belonged to a poor family and her poor family could not afford her the basic necessities of life therefore she was bareheaded and barefoot okay next you should write that she was without any cap or without scarf or without any covering for her head therefore she was bareheaded the next point is why she was barefoot okay so at first you write that when uh, when she uh, she had left her house she oh, she had owned her mother's slippers okay so now you can understand that those uh, slippers of her mother's would not fit her tiny feet okay therefore she uh, she was having difficulties or troubles while walking uh, with that slippers next you should write that uh, the little girl also lost that pair of slippers when now when she was running across the street to prevent the attack or to prevent the accident by the two carriages which were which were being driven terribly fast and one slipper was lost in the uh, in the snow she did not find it and another slipper what happened with another slipper a mischievous boy ran off with another slipper because he thought that this slipper uh, would be very much useful for him when he had his own children okay so in this way the girl lost uh, both her slippers oh. so uh, uh, next <coughs> next you should mention uh, next you should mention or it may be another question that what's the effect of coldness upon upon her upon the little girl okay if that question comes you should write number one point is that as it was bitterly cold outside and as she was bareheaded and barefoot she was uh, shivering in cold she was fighting against the cold here 
okay the second point that you should write uh, from the uh, from the text you should quote this uh, this phrase that uh, her uh, her feet her naked feet became red and blue with the cold please quote this phrase that her naked feet were red and blue red and blue with the cold next you can write that her tiny hands also became numb with coldness okay so these three points you should mention number one that shivering in cold her feet tiny feet in our naked feet became red and blue with the cold and her tiny hands also became numb means senseless with coldness okay the next important question from the little match girl is that the little match girl is described as the picture of misery the picture of misery this is very much important why is the girl described in this way okay this question is very much important for you guys okay how will you write it uh, let me tell you first what's the meaning of misery misery means distress the misery means hardship or suffering okay so at first you should uh, in the very first paragraph you should write that it was new year's eve and everyone was celebrating okay everyone was celebrating lights were shining in every window and there was a glorious smell of roast goose in the street so everyone was celebrating but what what the girl was doing the girl was out in the cold to sell matchsticks but unfortunately she was not successful in selling a single matchstick even even not a single person was there uh, was there who, who was sympathetic enough to buy a matchstick from her even not a single person uh, uh, gave uh, gave the girl a penny okay or a paisa a penny therefore the little girl here was struggling for uh, so was was struggling but you see while the other persons other person here was celebrating next point you have to write that she was walking bareheaded and barefoot therefore the extreme or the bitter coldness take, uh, was taking its toll upon her her feet became red and blue with cold her little hand became numb with coldness okay and <clears throat> and she was shivering uh, with uh, coldness that things you have to mention the third point that you have to mention here is that not only that she was also suffering from hunger okay so number one point is that uh, is that heart struggling against the celebration of other uh, celebration by the other people the second one the uh, the effect of coldness upon her and the third one is that she was shivering and she was hungry these three points you have to mention okay and uh, in the uh, in the last paragraph you should you should write that <coughs> you should write that whenever or if you look at this little girl this little girl uh, uh, seems to you as a picture of suffering as a picture of misery so from this very description of the girl we feel sympathy we feel sympathy for the girl our heart reaches out to her okay so these are the things you should mention if you want to get full marks okay and this question is very very important that why is the girl described as the picture of misery the next important question from this short story is that why did the girl not dare to go home why did the girl not dare to go home here you have to mention three points number one that that the little girl was out in the cold for selling matchstick but unfortunately she had sold no matches and earned not a single penny okay therefore uh, uh, therefore she did not dare to go home this is the first point you have to mention second point is that that she feared that her father would beat her surely if she uh, she would go there empty handed this is the point you must mention besides you should also write that the, the little girl is the victim of child ab child abuse okay she was devoid of her father's love okay this is the second point you have to mention
the third point which you have to mention here this is also very much important and most of the students uh, do not write it that is that uh, uh, whether she uh, she was at home or she was outside the home in both situation or, or both the situation is same for her why because it was bitterly cold outside but at home it was also terribly cold okay because because they had only the roof in their house and the wind whistled through that roof even even the largest cracks in their wall were stuffed with straw and rag so even in <coughs> in or at home she would not uh, she would not get warmth from cold therefore she did not dare to go home so these three points you have to mention i am repeating it for you number one that she had sold no matches and earned not a single penny the second point is that her father would surely beat her and the third point is that it was uh, uh, it was so or it was terribly cold at home okay so these three points you have to mention that therefore uh, or that is why she did not dare to go home so today up to this one we have discussed five important questions from the little match girl in <coughs> in my next video i will come up with another uh, or other important questions like symbols or the visions of the girl these are also very much important and as i have told you that this uh, literary piece the little match girl is going to be very much very very important for you uh, for the students of 2020 icsc exam okay so uh, one request uh, from me to you that if you have like if you really like my video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel it's a request and share this video with your friends bye bye take care